In this week's video, I'm going to share with you Joshua Tree National Park and the camping situation in Joshua Tree. There's plenty of campgrounds. Which one do you want to camp in when you sign up on recreation.gov? This spot here is my favorite. Let's find out which campground that is, as well as the other five campgrounds in Joshua Tree that I explored here in 2022. If you're taking a look at Joshua Tree and a place to camp, most of the campgrounds are in the northern part of the park near Jumbo Rocks. Uh, the very southern part of the park is Cottonwood Visitor Center and a Cottonwood Campground, which has a dump station. But like I said, the, most of the campgrounds are up in the northern part of the park where most of the attractions are as well. So what is the best campground in Joshua Tree? I think it's this place, Jumbo Rocks. Check out these awesome rocks that's in the campground that you can climb on and explore. And there's also a big benefit to climbing these rocks I'll share with you shortly. As we drive into this first campground at Jumbo Rocks here, uh, it is a paved road all the way throughout the campsites, which is nice, no dirt road. It is the largest campground in Joshua Tree and the most popular. So this is actually... Uh, a nice little campground as you're close to many of the attractions, Skull Rock, that you can actually hike to from camp. Let's check out this campground real quick here. Give you a feel for what the sites are like. Uh, there are a few sites that are big enough for RVs, but many sites are not big enough for RVs. As you can see in the speed up video here, there's plenty of space between sites. You can even climb these rocks, check out the sunrise or the sunset. As you can see, many of the sites are occupied by RVs, but most sites in there are not big enough for RVs. Just to warn you, when you're booking, you may check the length. We took a quick hike over to Skull Rock. Like I mentioned that earlier, this is an awesome little hiking do at camp. Uh, you also get this cool hole in a rock you'll find if you hike over there. Uh, highly recommend Jumbo Rocks Campground. As I mentioned, there was a reason to climb these rocks behind camp. Let's check it out. Campground at Jumbo Rocks. Nice and warm here on the rocks. As you can see, these rocks are on. Look out way out in the distance, though. Another reason to climb the rocks. Cell tower. So, if you need to connect with your phone, Get signal. You won't find that in camp because you're too low down. If you climb these rocks back here, you will find cell signal. Kind of a secret most people don't know about. Jumbo Rocks is my favorite. It can be very hard to get reservations here. Let's check out the other five campgrounds and see what they look like. Campground number two here is Hidden Valley. No vehicle combination of over 25 feet. So that's a quick review of Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley is kind of neat and it's close to a lot of nearby points of interest. One of them being uh, Barker Dam here. Uh, it's a, you can take a nature hike not too far from Hidden Valley. Check out this dam. You can hike out to uh, Keys View here, drive to it, and then there's a short little hike. You get a great view of the valleys below from a very high vista. See out towards Palm Springs. And there's Cap Rock that's not that far away either from this campground. So lots of great little uh, side trips you can make attractions. So that was Hidden Valley. Let's check out Ryan Campground in kind of between Hidden Valley and Jumbo Rocks. Ryan 
campground near the House of Horrors. Give me an idea what it looks like. One way loop looks like. There are some RVs back in here. This is a good view of the campground actually. Lots of people in tents, a few trailers. Very exposed to the wind. If I was to summarize Ryan Campground, it's one large loop around some rocks. It has vault toilets just like the other campground, but overall, Jumbo Rocks is by far better in my opinion. There is known as the House of Horrors. Next campground to check out is actually Sheep Pass Campground, which is only group sites that I could tell. It has some toilets, a couple of toilets, and I'll show you what the campground looks like. It's not very big, I think it's just a few sites. shelter from the wind. So that was a quick drive through Sheep Pass Campground. This is only a group sites that I could see, uh, no individual sites. So if you got a large group of friends you want to uh, camp out with, this might be your place. They do have vault toilets as you can see here uh, and some pretty nice spots. Campgrounds I've shown you so far in the northern part of the park. As you start heading south into Joshua Tree, you're going to pass Bella Campground on your way to Choya Gardens area. Let's check it out. It's kind of cool. It's in the rocks. Mm. to me I actually like this place it's pretty small um, dirt roads low but you can park any size rig in here you want it's next to these great rocks um, not too crowded you got some space between sites so it was a pleasant surprise and like I say it's next to or close to the Choya Gardens the cactus at Choya Gardens there's just thousands and thousands of Choya cactus as you can see here, they're just growing in the desert. Pretty, pretty amazing place uh, to check out. So that's a review of the first five campgrounds in the northern part of the park. As we head south, you come to Cottonwood Campground. It's the only main campground in the southern part of the park. It's also one of the two major campgrounds in the park. It has the only dump station in the entire park that I know of. All the driveways here are paved, and it has modern, looks like modern bathrooms. So. Pretty nice place, uh, although it's a long ways away from all the main attractions I kind of showed you in this video. Choya Gardens, Cap Rock, um, you know, Barker Dam. Um, so, long ways away from attractions. You're probably an hour or more drive to those attractions. So, pros and cons of camping down here uh, versus one of those t first five campgrounds I showed you. Hopefully, this video helped uh, give you an idea of where to camp. Here's the dump station at uh, Cottonwood. Um, like I said, only dump station in the park that I know of. Another advantage of Cottonwood, it's near the main ranger station for the park that I could tell. Um, my favorite though is Jumbo Rocks, as you can see here. Love this place. I've spent many, many nights here with fires, enjoying the, the rocks that surround this area. Here's an example of split rock that's not that far away. 
Uh, it's near all the attractions on the northern part of the park. Highly recommend camping in the northern section. Thanks for checking out this video of Joshua Tree and where to camp. I got other videos on my channel of other major parks such as Yosemite, Big Bend, and, and others. So please check those out if you like this type of content. Please consider liking and subscribing. Until our next adventure, thanks for being here.